Hi, what I have here is a teletype tape read transmitter thingy-mabob. And as you can see, someone's messed with it and put like LEDs on it and that's very not factory. And I would like to change that. I would like to get this thing back to factory condition or to, to original condition and to also get it working and restored. This thing has a servo motor in here. Looks like a servo motor at least. Yeah, it's a servo motor. It has a servo motor on here and some sort of thing. There is a motor in here anyway already. And then some LEDs and stuff. So let's, step one, first remove all those modifications. Okay, so I got all the modifications off. So there was just a ring of LEDs that indicated at which point the, on, the, on the ring the reader was, or basically speaking, not on which point, but if it's on or off. So this is basically just a teletype bottle reader or tape reader. So how does this thing work? It's basically very simple. You have a big motor here that spins an axle here and then you have a clutch over here that uh, engages with that uh, arm here so when the arm is on top it will be braked by by the the lever and then so the motor can spin it right and then as soon as you have the you, you send the start bit or something this magnet will release the the rotate bit up here will start rotating exactly one rotation. As it rotates, it sends a start bit, and then the holes are like the whole readers are connected to the pads up here. So it as it strings over the thing, it makes connection with all the switches in the tape reader and sends them out serially over the teletype line. It's uh, actually very simple construction. It kind of feels like as if the motor is stuck. No, the motor spins. The motor spins, but uh, not as freely as I want it to spin, actually. So, um, I, uh, I will try to like get it apart, put some WD-40 in it to get all the grease off of it and then properly lubricate it and get it, get it all working again. I interrupt you really quick for, to thank my sponsor, PCPAway. They recently approached me about the sponsorship and I, just to try it out, said yes. And uh, here it is, I am trying it out. So this video is actually sponsored by PCBWay. They are a great service about to make PCBs, but they also offer services like 3D printing and machining and a lot of other things that you do definitely is handy and they're also not that expensive. For example, for the convention that I went to last week, why the last video was so late, um, this they made this batch for me and uh, i am very happy it looks very cool and uh, so thank you to this pcb away for sponsoring this video
so here I am taking out the main shaft that drives the, the gears and uh, now I'm using like brake clean and a toothbrush to like get all the grease and everything out of the out of the mechanisms Some, most of the spots and stuff don't come off. I try to play brake clean, I try to soap, and it's just like it's rust and, and breaks and stuff. So I would have to repaint it, to sand it down and repaint it to get it looking like new again. But I, I don't think I want to do that actually. I kind of like the aesthetic of it, I just don't like it greasy. So. Putting it back together was actually kind of difficult because uh, all the parts you can put them in the wrong way so you can make that uh, they are like 180 degree out of phase. And now I am using that special WD-40 lubricant. It's actually not WD-40, it's just a brand. Um, to, to lubricate everything um, and I'm rotating the shaft with my hand and that actually now works because it's uh, it's, it's so much easier to, to, to rotate it so the cleaning definitely helped Okay, so I now cleaned up the contacts, uh, uh, cleaned up all the mechanical parts, lubricated them again, and now it spins super freely. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Shit. Oh, oh, that was stupid. It now doesn't spin, and now you open it and bam, it spins, and it spins very freely. I can spin it with my hand. That's how freely it spins. Good. What I now want to try is I want to get a new power plug on here because that's a that's an old style. We don't have those kind of plugs anymore. I'm on the new Swiss power plug onto it and now I would like to see if, uh, if uh, I can get it running. So here I have my isolation transformer, plug it in, here we go and then I'll plug it into my 500 milliamp fuse. Are you guys ready? Okay. There is power on it right now. Ah, it turns on. Wait. Look at that. It works. Oh, look, it does it even automatically. This is cool. Ah. Oops. Something did not sound happy. Well, that successful short lift. So basically, what problem I had just now is it did not want to turn on. No, electronically it's fine. I just heard a spark. Probably coming from inside of the motor. There's a slip clutch or something that probably still needs some lubrication. Let's try it again though. Whoa. 
Aha, uh -huh, okay, that's just, okay, okay, fair. Okay, so, what I figured out is um, the sparks that I hear, they're just the motor, the brushes. Here we go, now I could say it. Oh, you know what, I can't get this thing out, so I'm just gonna spray contact spray inside. In the hope that it does something. Okay, this thing is now fully working again and actually it also looks kind of nice. I am very happy how it turned out and um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of different kind of episode that I made today. Um, there will be more of that soon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps out a ton. Uh, I have a Patreon if you want to see things that you haven't seen before. Join the Patreon. I have a Discord. I stream on Twitch. All the links are in the description for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. I'm out. Goodbye.